Hello, welcome back. Um, so let's go into part two now. We're going to continue drawing from the Alcazar Palace. Um, the internet just dropped out a little bit there. But I hope that your drawings are looking beautiful. So what I'm doing now is just adding some little vines. So I'll just talk you through the little elements that I've added in the little interval. interval. So something that I've added is the spiral at the top here. And coming down, you should already have this contour on your page. I've added a little vine coming over and feeding under and around. So the quickest way to do that is just draw a circle and then pull it, loop that around. Really simple. There's also gonna be another one from here coming up and around. So I'm just going around and outlining my vine. Deciding how thick I'd like it to be. So where are you? So I'm in the gardens of the Alcazar Palace. In Sevilla. And it is absolutely gorgeous.
that's the top part of my drawing finished. I'm going to move down into the center now. And as you can see here, I've got another little leaf bending around and coming under. And that one's going to join down the bottom here. So when I'm drawing in my circle, I'm going to make sure it's touching here. So if anyone has just joined in live to this part two, there is a part one that is being saved and downloaded onto the Instagram that you can go back to. And if you have any questions, just write them down. I've got Adam here, he can talk to me whilst I'm drawing. So where's this pattern from? So this pattern is from the inside of the Alcazar. The Patio of Maidens. The Patio of Maidens. There are some images um, that we've posted on our Instagram feeds and I'll post some more as well. It's absolutely stunning. So it's it's on the pillar and it's repeated a lot, uh, a lot bigger, a lot larger than what I'm actually drawing. I'm just drawing a small section. I thought it would be really nice to just draw it like a triple vine. And there's another little vine coming off here as well. So same process over and under. So someone's asking, is it a Baroque design? It's more on Modecus. It's a Mudeka, so which is Christian Islamic. Definitely not Baroque. Can you write it in the chat?
So those of you who'd like to do a little bit of research in your own time, spelt M-U-D, E-J-A-R, Mudeka. I'm sure the Spanish can pronounce that a lot better than myself. analyzing these biomorphic and arabesque patterns for a long, long time. And there's definitely a unique style in this beautiful palace. The biomorphs are definitely... I'll just wait for the, the bin to pass. <laughs> the biomorphs are definitely um, a lot, I would say, a lot more voluptuous. They're quite, they're a lot thicker. This design was quite interesting. If you look at the photo that's been posted online of this particular pattern, um, there's actually got this underlying uh, biomorphic layer that's actually sitting underneath what I'm drawing. I, I didn't draw that today because it would have taken quite a long time. Uh, it's quite complex, uh, really beautiful, but very different to uh, any sort of biomorphic arabesque patterns that you would see in, say, Morocco or even the Alhambra. These patterns are very similar to the Alhambra patterns, but because of this Christian influence, uh, the style looks actually quite different. I'm even getting carried away with the spiral underneath. <laughs> you can't really choose a more beautiful spot than drawing biomorphic art. So what I would like to describe as abstract botanicals in one of the most beautiful gardens I've sat in. So it's, it's a real pleasure to be here. We do actually have a, another flower coming off to the left here of that main stem and that's going to sit touching this line here.
And before we start to highlight the stem coming across here, we have another flower just sitting on top. This design's coming close to being finished. One last step. Because this one's coming under here, I'm just going to make it come over this one here. tracing paper but you would trace the left hand side draw in your line and then you would just fold the tracing paper so you can see it on the opposite side and trace again and that way you can flip the design over and transfer onto the other piece of paper and then I would trace the whole design again to get that beautiful mirror and it's a beautiful design just in itself that's just a quick little sketch there and 
for home, obviously I've used graphite today. It can be a little bit messy, which is fine. The pencils that I've used here are polycolors, so they're oil-based pencils. They work really, really, really well for biomorphic art, especially these thick, thick, thick wash lines, and just to create a lot of movement. So this exercise today is just to hopefully give you a little insight into these beautiful movements. Um, they're incredibly meditative. I, I can't go a day without drawing them. Um, and I really, really hope you enjoyed this beautiful day in this beautiful place. And I hope to see your work, share your work, tag the out of process. Adam will be teaching later a beautiful paper folding uh, session on one of the patterns inside the Alcazar, which is completely stunning. And we'll see you this afternoon. So that's at five o'clock UK time. And bookings can be made on either of our websites. And we'll be coming to you live a couple of times this week, not only from Sevilla, but also in Cordoba, which is our next stop, and also Granada, the beautiful Alhambra. And with a bang. So, yeah, we'll see you soon. Lots of love.